Hi, this is Martin from Vispark and in this Material Manager tutorial I'd like to show you how you can move libraries and relocate the files that are associated with Material Manager. Um, as some of you may have uh, realized, Material Manager creates a library connected with the database to um, one library location and it may be necessary to move this library, maybe because you want to render in a network or um, because your hard disk is full. So um, at this tutorial uh, will show you how you can do that um, and how you can change the files. So um, first I'd like to give you one more side note um, because that's also something that some customers experience. Um, you might notice when you open Material Manager the first time in 3ds Max that this list is empty. Um, here you can see I have 562 presets in my library, uh, but none of them are showing up. And that is because um, I have an option selected, which is show only materials compatible with the active renderer. And because my renderer is currently art, which is the default uh, when you install 3ds Max, um, it's selected and I don't have any art uh, presets in the library and that's why uh, this is empty. It's, I can click this and then I see all of the presets um, and this won't be the case if you change this to uh, for example V-Ray and then open uh, Material Manager you'll see this um, attribute selected and you see all the V-Ray presets. But that's just a side note. So um, when you load presets or when you see these presets, you have different options to see where the files are located. Um, one option is to use the Open Presets Library folder with the right click mouse button. And um, this will open up this folder. You see all of the multi-textures, uh, the thumbnail file and the preset file. And here you see this is located in Program Data Vispark Preset Manager Library which contains all of the files um, associated, associated with each preset within the database. The library itself consists of two parts, two, two main parts. One is the database file, which is this. It's uh, ending with DB. This has a size of 160 megabyte. And the library folder containing all these presets. Now, if you want to move this folder to a different location, um, you need to copy all files to the new location, um, but not the database file. This has to stay here and um, should not be moved. But the library, the bitmaps, everything um, should be moved. So here my library has approximately 4 GB in size. And if I want to um, change the library location, I can do this in the preferences. In the library tab I have this library path option and uh, I can change it by navigating to um, my new location which in this case is uh, on a network drive and I've created this folder um, shared library. When I click this say OK I'll get a warning which just says I have to move all the files otherwise the presets won't work. So let's see what happens if I don't move the files. I say yes. Here's the new uh, location. I say OK. If I want to uh, load a preset right now, this happens. I'm getting an error message. Um, so what I need to do is I'll uh, copy the files over um, from the location uh, in my library, um, default library. And if you can't see this, you can also open a, um, a normal file dialog and just enter the, the following string here. Um, it's most likely a hidden folder. So just enter percentage program data percentage and then this or just program data percentage in this line. Hit enter and you'll um, open this folder with the library. So. I've just copied all of these files over to the new location, um, which is here. And I've done this to save some time. So um, I'll use this one. Here are all the same files, all the same folders. 
It has a size of 4 gigabytes. And uh, I'll just take this path instead of the empty one. Change this in Material Manager's Preferences. Library. I think I need to do it this way. Copied. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Okay. And uh, now when I'm opening this preset, it loads. You can see in the asset tracking that the new location is my network location, which in this case is the QNAP. And uh, that's where all the files are. I can say browse and you'll see here QNAP, um, there they are. Um, you can now delete the files from the original location if you want to save some space on your hard drive. Um, but you can also go back as long as the library files are still there. Just hit um, this uh, cancel button or reset button say ok and it will still um, load the presets from the original location so let's see as a tracker and here we go program data library so once more the mo most important thing is that you don't change the database file which is this file don't change the location of this one you can change the library um, and then change the preferences and you, you're good to go okay so I hope that helped um, one more little thing um, there is one new option um, which we implemented in one two th one three two this update which is um, collect maps um, and this is because the library so far always copied all the bitmaps uh, from a material preset into the library folder. Um, but since there were many customers and users who did not want to do this all the time to duplicate bitmaps and space, we've uh, implemented this option to save presets without copying bitmaps. Now um, if I'm saving a preset it will um, save just the material file but not the bitmaps. In in this case, you have to be aware of where your bitmaps are located. So um, if you change any folders, if you change anything, uh, it will not find the bitmaps. Um, and it's up to you, it's your responsibility basically. If you keep this option enabled, um, it's material manager's responsibility in a way, um, as it copies over the bitmaps. So that's probably more secure, but if you want to um, do this on your own, Deselect this and you're good to go. All right, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, send us a support request. So we'll um, try to help you as quickly as possible. And if you haven't seen Material Manager yet, try out the demo. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.